FlossTube. My name is Becca and I'm Sam Bree Stitches here on YouTube and other social media sites. This is a special edition video. I am going to unbox the Stitch Me's Halloween box. I'm super, super excited. Um, it did come with a pattern that got emailed, so I will insert the picture of the pattern here. Um, and there's a little cheat sheet. This is the Halloween mystery box. I believe I got the epic. And there is a whole bunch of goodies in here, so I'm so excited. We're inside because it's raining, so I figured Halloween decor behind me and Halloween unboxing. All right, this, and it says All Hallows Eve. This is like a guessing game for me because last time when I did the unboxing, I said like this little magnet thing looked like a spaceship type of thing that was in it. <laughs> I couldn't figure out what it was. And it was a thread holder. So like you could park your threads and wrap it around. Um, this, <laughs> I have no idea what it is. I'm trying to read the cheat sheet. Um, okay, so it comes apart and it makes an L. And it says, All Hallows Eve. Um, don't think it's a needle minder, counting pigs, front needle box, boo boo wand, ghost floss drops, zipper pull, ghost needle minder, Halloween scissor fob, ground. I don't know what this is. Pattern? Maybe a pattern marker. Yeah, maybe it's the pattern marker. So you can like put it on either side of the, the pattern and then move it around. Kind of cool. That's something that I've never seen before. All right, some more floss straps, little ghosties with a little bling on the front. Very cute. I love these little boxes that she puts stuff in. And I am going to hold it in front of the box because it's a little ghosty. Look at the ghost. So it's a scissor fob. That's really cool. Oh, and it looks almost looks like there's a spider web on that white bead there. I don't know if you can see it or not, but that's cool. So there's that. A little ghosty needle minder. Super, super cute. Oh. A grime guard with spiders all over it. And I'm pretty sure this is an 8 by 8 grime guard. I think that's usually what she sends. But it's got spiders all over it. Goodie bag. Brandy always has the cool little bags like this. I found purple ones that I brought to a retreat. But this is really neat. Okay, there was a bunch of stuff in it. And I dropped something. And now I can't find it. Meh. Luckily, I'm sitting on the floor. So there's a boo-boo wand. So I think this you use to brush on your um, pieces and it cleans up like all the little fuzzies. And it's got a little bling on the end of it. So there's a boo-boo wand. There is a needle box. <coughs> Excuse me. Still not well. Yeah, so it's like a little needle box, but it's all blinged out and it's got a little bat on it and a magnet underneath. Um, oh, another needle minder, and this is a candy corn. I love it, look at it. It's a blingy candy corn. And we, are these counting pins? Yes, these are counting pins. They're not the ones with the string. Let me pull one out. There's two of them, but it's a little, looks like a little pumpkin. So there's two of those, which is very cool. I'm going to stick them in one of my things now. Apparently another piece fell on the ground and it was the frogger. So I'm going to insert this. Look at that little witch's hat on the frogger. That's so cute. Love it. All right, let's do the project bag. Eh, stuff's all rough. Project bag. I think this is the last project bag I'm getting because the next one I signed up for, I didn't 
choose a project bag in it. These are really, I actually really like this one. And it's got a little zipper pull with another ghosty. And then the inside fabric is like ghosts and there's a ghost and pumpkins. So this is a really cute bag. I actually like this one. I have so many project bags. And then we know these, these are the bag tags that you can write on and then erase. So that's kind of cute to go with that bag. Okay. I think we are on to, oh, oh, there's candy in here. And Kit Kats are one of my favorites. Yum, yum. So I didn't even see the candy. It was hidden. All right, let's do the silks and then we'll do the fabric. All right, these are the silks that are included. Look at those colors, y'all. So we have jack-o'-lantern. We have a no name. This didn't have a label on it, but oh my gosh, that's so pretty. It's like purples and teals and blacks. Oh, I gotta do something with that. Candy corn. That definitely screams candy corn. Pumpkin patch. Graveyard. It's a very nice variegated black and gray. Vampire Kiss. Oh, look at that red and black. And then Cauldron, which is my go-to for black floss when I'm doing silks. I love Brandy's Cauldron. It's in a lot of my designs. Love it. Okay, are we ready for the fabric? This time I got 20 count. So this is 20 count Eye of Newt. I think it's showing up a little bit lighter on my screen, but it's, yeah. So it's very bright. It's very bright. Witchy. Everybody knows purple's my favorite color. Look at that. So that's witchy. And then the last one is jack-o'-lantern. This is also very bright. Ooh, oops. That is also very, very bright, but very cool. That would be really neat with like a black work. Oh, I think I need to start another Halloween black work on this. Yeah. Inspiration comes from Brandy's boxes. This was an awesome, awesome box. Brandy always does amazing on the boxes, but I really, really like this one. So, um, hope you enjoyed the unboxing and the background scenery as well, because um, I did not want to sit out in the rain. <laughs> and until I see you all again, happy stitching, everybody.